Hey, what's going on guys? What's Nicky Magic here? Right now, I'm showing you the tutorial for my card trick, Lucky Guess. Uh, due to popular demand, you guys like this trick. Uh, I like it myself, but I think you guys might not like it when I show you how it's done. Uh, so let's get right into this. What you're going to need are some gimmicks, guys. Yes, uh, you guys, I know you're going to run away right when I show you this. I've actually been covering it, okay, just so you guys didn't run away. Bam, yes guys, it uses gimmicks, and it's, I think of this as a smart gimmick, okay, it's pretty cool, it's, uh, to me, it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, what I have here is a card that is literally missing a fourth of the card, it's literally missing, just 20 to 26 cards uh, are missing a fourth of it. Uh, now, if you guys don't want to do that to your cards, I completely understand. I'm not going to leave you empty-handed. Uh, you guys can check out a mystery video. Mathematical, no gimmicks, all right? Uh, that'll be a surprise. Uh, but if you guys want to stick around, all right, uh, let's keep going. You have, obviously, the rest of the cards after you've cut those. And uh, you're gonna just going to need a, a Joker or uh, really any card. Now, I'm, I have two models with me here, uh, which are going to help you with this. Uh, on how to cut the cards, okay? Uh, now you'll notice these are these cards are very similar, but one is very different. All right. Uh, now this card right here is made for a lefty. Why is this? Because it the cut is in the left hand corner. Well, uh, and this other one is in the right hand corner. All right. So I, it's very easy to remember which card you're going to cut. If you are a lefty, okay, like myself, you are going to make the cut in the left hand corner. Lefty, left hand. Uh, okay. Uh, if you are a righty. Okay, R for right-hand corner, all right? So you would cut it in the right-hand corner of the card. Uh, so obviously you'd figure out which which hand am I? Okay, lefty, all right, I'll do the left-hand corner. If I'm a righty, you do the other one. Uh, and you obviously, you're just going to have to do that for about 20 to 26 cards. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, and I wanted to mention this mainly because I made this mistake, uh, I did not use a very good variety. You'll notice there's very few red cards in here. Uh, spectator might notice that. Uh, it, you know, it's not too noticeable when you're just flipping through the cards. Uh, but you want to make sure you have more red cards than I do, okay? Uh, you know, do a variety from ace all the way to king, uh, so on and so forth. You guys know that. Uh, and basically now you're ready for the trick, you've made your gimmick, you have the rest of the cards, you're ready to rumble. Uh, you're going to make a slight prediction uh, on a piece of paper, okay, uh, and I've made that here. I actually have the same one as I used in my performance, okay, you will, you will place the joker 14 cards down, okay. Uh, now, you want to remember that number, and you're just going to take 14 cards from your leftover cards, and uh, you're going to just do that now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cards. Uh, this is going to be the top of the pack. But right here, I have excess cards. These cards are not 14, okay? They don't add up to 14. This is the base of your deck. You're then going to put down your gimmick cards, okay? Followed by the rest of the pack or the 14 cards, uh, which should equal uh, to your prediction. You place that on top right there. You're ready to go. Uh, let's take a peek at this, mainly because it's a little bit strange, okay? You're going to have a, just a giant chunk missing from your pack, okay? Uh, it's going to look a bit odd, okay? You might think the spectator will notice it, but it really isn't that hard to uh, mask or not show. Now, let me show you the basic idea of this trick. You're going to... The spectator from the front is going to insert a card. You then pivot it to the back, and it magically jumps to the top. From the side view, let me show you this. They inserted their card right here. You're going to move it to the back, and you'll notice when it hits the, the space right here, it just goes, you can easily put it on the top. Uh, it's not difficult. It doesn't take force to, you know, bring it to the top. It's very simple, all right? Now, uh, let's get into how you want to, you know, get rid of revealing that spot because it is very easy to do. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can show the cards the backs, okay? Uh, you do want to practice that. You want to, you can show the faces, okay? That's easy as well. Uh, and the cool thing about this, you can actually spread the cards out like that and the spectator won't notice it. You can flip over the cards and the spectator won't notice the gimmicks, okay? So you can make it look like you have a regular deck of cards um, and you're good to go, all right? Just Make sure you remember that's there, okay? Don't forget. Um, at this point, what you're going to have the spectator do is insert the card inside the pack. But one thing I wanted to mention is if you're just holding this, the, the pack in the center, which is cut, is going to just sort of fall, all right? Uh, so you want to make sure you hold the, the pack in this grip right here. You're going to place your thumb 
right on the edge of the cut right here, right on the bottom, and hold it the deck like you normally would. This will make the cards stay in place, all right? You should be fine like this, and you're good to go. You're going to riffle down. The spectator is going to insert uh, the Joker or whatever card uh, that he or she, you have, okay? Now, right when they do this, you can either transfer hands, um, but you want to make sure you keep a loose grip. It's very important you have a loose grip. I can't stress that enough. Uh, mainly because if you have a very tight grip, okay, it's going to be hard to pivot the Joker, okay, without moving the cards. And when, once you move the cards, uh, it will be easy to see the gimmicks, okay? Also, if you have a, you know, very tense grip, when you move it, it's going to make this sound, okay, from clicking up uh, to the top. And you do not want that, okay? You want a very soft uh, sound. You're just going to move it to the top and you're good to go. So, loose grip, guys. That's very important. Um, and from here, you're just going to you move it to the side, okay? Once you have it on the side, you pivot it up, and it should automatically do it by itself because when you're pivoting on the side, you're adding a little bit of force uh, up, even if you don't think you are, you are, and then it'll slide to the top, um, and just like that. Now, right when you have it on the top, it's very important that you place the Joker in uh, more than halfway. Now, it's hard to tell uh, when you have a face card, but on the back, which I recommend doing, you find a different back, you place it in, you move it to the top, okay? Now, you want to make sure you obviously go past the halfway mark, uh, about three-fourths or two-thirds, whatever you'd like. And from here, you can deal down the cards, okay? They would count, okay, there would be 14 cards, and when you get there, okay, you're, you know, you won't be able to see the gimmick. Now, if you had it too little, if you didn't push it in all the way, that gimmick would be exposed, all right? So you want to make sure you put it in two-thirds or three-fourths, all right? And uh, then you say, look at that. Uh, what I like to do, which makes it more convincing that this was completely with real cards, at the end, you simply spread out the cards, okay? That will make it look more convincing, uh, and that's something I like to do, all right? Now, uh, let's say you know, that's, you don't want to do that idea. I'm going to tell you a different idea, which I find is very good as well. Um, so, at this point, you have 14 cards on top, you have this card, but let's say you don't want to do, oh, uh, look, you've put it 14 cards down, all right? You want to try something different. Here's uh, what another fun way to do this trick. You're going to remember the first gimmick card, okay, which is the five of spades, and the Queen of Hearts. That is your prediction. Five of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. Now, you, you say on your prediction, you will place a Joker in between the Queen of Hearts and Five of Spades. Once again, it's where the two gimmick and regular cards meet, okay? And that is your prediction, okay? And after you've written that down, you do the same thing as you would, okay? You're going to take the Joker, you pivot it up to its position, and now you can actually just push this in all the way. I'm going to put it face down just so we can see this, all right? Uh, and now you say, look, you place the Joker, all right? right in between the Queen of Hearts and the Five of Spades, just like that. Uh, if you want, you can pivot your hands like that and show they actually did place a Joker right there. Okay, just make sure to mask it with your, with your hand there, okay? Uh, and that's another cool way to do this trick. I like that. That would be my second idea, okay? I was going to do that in the performance as well, but I didn't. Uh, that is pretty much how the trick works, guys. Uh, you guys can be the judge as if you want to do this. If you don't want to do this, uh, just be very careful. Choose which are you. Which are you? Lefty, righty, what are you, okay? And make sure you, you know, you cut the right thing, all right? Just remember, lefty, left-hand side, righty, right-hand side, all right? So... That's pretty much the trick, guys. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's a pretty cool uh, gimmick myself. You guys, you know, I do need some help. If you, you know, if you've seen this before using this gimmick, let me know. I'm still I'm trying to figure out if this is original or not. Uh, but for now, guys, remember, I'll be back.